Funding for what I do is provided in part by my generous supporters on Patreon, and by direct donations from viewers like you. Thank you! Heyo, Kelvin here, and this isn't ready to release yet, this is currently still in the Unstable branch, but what I've got to show you today is a progress update on Super Tux Advances to Player Mode. So as you can see right here, looks pretty normal. Da, da, da. All the usual stuff. You'll notice up there in the um, top left corner. I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> top left corner up there is the new energy bar. The energy bar now changes its design based on what element you're using. And this will help with characters who do not change appearance when they change element. So I thought something like that was important. But also, notice here in the pause menu. Ta-da! See how it says Tux? So you got all the characters here. Now I come here to change player 2. It's currently set to no one. And I can put someone else here. So notice how the camera's not following Tux's position exactly. Here. With the gamepad, the second player can move. But if you've got two gamepads, then each player will get to use a gamepad. Gamepad's currently not plugged in. Give me a moment. And we're back. So, player two can move independently of player one. And when there's both of them together, the screen will stay centered between them. But, if the players should go far from each other, it split screens. So each of them gets their own screen, and this works especially well with the dynamic camera on, which, um, thanks to Vimlark giving me some feedback on that, some players can be nauseated by it, so you can now turn that off. But, with two-player mode, it helps with the screen crunch, because now the camera moves ahead of you, so you can see more. Also, check this out. You saw how Tux is on the right before, yeah? Now Penny's on the right. Yes. It will change which player is on which side depending on which side you leave from. So this way, if you're going to... from left to right here, you don't have to move your eye as far to get back in track of where your character is. And I also have the bar in the middle there because um, some tile sets can blend together um, between screens if they line up incorrectly. Or correctly, however you want to put it. But yes, um, there's, there's a lot that had to be done to get this to work. I basically had to do um, a ground up adjustment of everything to make it react to second player being there because Everything was assuming a single pointer to a single player directly, so they didn't even acknowledge the existence of second player. I had to go through and plug all that in manually because I did not foresee this feature, and um, I should have, but I didn't. Also, I should probably make it so that players can be bumped when you do this. I think that would actually be funny. But yeah, um, so yeah, you got two player, and when you enter the boss room, it'll teleport the players to each other. So that way, um, the split screen, the split screen messes with boss fights. It's bad. So you like, you've got to have them in the same room. Otherwise, the split screen causes problems. Uh, let's see, what else is new? Um, you've already, I think you've already seen the new tile set. The new snow tile set. See, so yeah, if you're playing as Penny, the NPC for her will not show up. But yeah, that's also why we've also added Katie and Penny in in the first place, so that for two-player mode, you now have two of each uh, mechanically different character. So you know, Con Conky and Katie are in a class of their own. Penny and Tux are in a class of their own. 
and Mitty and Kiki will be the same as each other too, with Kiki using the cupcake bombs from Super Tux Advance. Uh, Super Tux Cart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so used to following up <laughs> with Advance. But yeah, she'll get the cupcake bombs from Super Tux Cart. And that's what one of the things I've been in the process of working on. There's also the transitions between, like, you know, uh, light levels, weather zones, background zones. Um, those had to be replaced with an actor that can now respond to the camera coordinates as well as the player instead of just being a trigger zone because if the camera moves ahead when the dy dynamic camera is on, it can cause the background to transition in a weird way that, you know, is exposed to the player. Like here. Let me show you here. So, like, if you come here, see how the camera's ahead of Tux. So before we had it just, you know, using a very big transition space, but even if you had this, going fast enough with the dynamic camera on would cause it to be like, oh, uh, this is where you're supposed to be now. This is the background you're supposed to have now. So you'd be out here and you would see a brief glimpse of the cave in there in the background. So, yeah. Um, all these levels are going to have to have their transition zones replaced. Um, all the frost lands are going to have to have it. Syra, I still have to modify him. Um, he's not a base game character, but I'm working with Crystallized Sun to get him working well. So, this should actually give you a good... Um, here, let me put a second player on. So now second player can be Tux, now that Tux isn't taken by first player. Look at that, he's invisible. That's because he's drawing in his step code instead of an actual draw event. In fact, there's a lot not working with him right now. He doesn't seem to want to attack. So yeah, <laughs> this two-player update has completely broken him. He worked perfectly before, but... Yeah. That was me. That was my fault. I broke Syra. And I am sorry. Also, for no reason at all, there's now a Haywire. Just wandering back and forth on the overworld. No reason. Just thought it was cute. Don't touch him. <laughs> It'll crash the game. Because <laughs> he's literally... The, the overworld care player has none of the variables that are expected by platform characters, so touching them just crashes the game immediately. Fortunately, they're also programmed to treat um, solids the exact opposite as each other, so under normal circumstances they can't interact, but... Yeah, uh... <laughs> I just thought it would be cute to have Haywire facing back and forth on the overworld. The one haywire that, under normal circumstances, you cannot kill. This is the good haywire. This is the one, the precious bean we must protect. But yeah, so much went weird trying to get the um, two-player camera working. Like, um, lighting being different for each character had weird issues. Um, so, like, you know, uh, secret tiles um, had to be changed to recognize, you know, which camera they're currently drawing to. So, because otherwise they draw their tiles, like, illuminated based on just one player instead of the other. Which caused all sorts of problems. So, yeah, it's been uh, quite a process. Um... But I think we're pretty close to being done with this. It's just, you know, mostly busy work going through every level to make sure everything's been replaced that needs to be so that it reacts to the second player properly. And um, once we've done that, once we've uh, released the two-player mode, that'll be the version 0.3 release. Uh, next, on the, next on the roadmap is Midi and Katie. Uh, not Katie, Kiki. Midi and Kiki. 
and a feature that has been requested a lot. Blocks. Yeah, I, I don't mean like, you know, not like these kind of blocks. I mean building blocks that you can pick up and carry and move around. I don't know why people want them so much. I always found them to be boring in original Super Tux, but they're a requested feature, so I'm doing it. And, um, I'm gonna try to make them more interesting. I'm gonna try to involve them in some puzzles instead of just, here they are, build a staircase. So, you know, gonna have, like, weighted button puzzles I think could be interesting with them. Um, actually, with two-player mode now, there could be some interesting uh, co-op puzzles. Like, uh, you know how, like, in Portal 2, you'd have one player stand on a button to open the door for the other player? Could do stuff like that. And, you know, could also mix blocks in with those two. Heck, if you guys really want, I could even make one look like a companion cube. Maybe. We'll see. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this update. And, um... Can't think of anything else that uh, needs to be shown right now. It's mostly just two-player stuff. But yeah, two players playable. If you guys are playing on the unstable build, um, just pull the code from the rep repository and try it out. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if there's um, any other bugs. Definitely need as many bug reports as I can get on this. I mean, I don't need bugs, but like if there are bugs, <laughs> I need to know about them. So... Please definitely play it. Let me know if you find anything that needs to be fixed. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for this update. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you everyone who's supported me so far. And I hope you will join me next time.